What's up guys, Tucker here for another video. I'm actually working on the Miata right now. It needs an oil change, it's needed one for a while. I've just been putting it off. And it's needed a new starter, desperately. I just took the old starter out and it is super fucked. So this starter was the one that we just took out. My dad and I have been kind of tinkering around with these. This is the third starter that we put in the car. Uh, if you include the one that we got in the car that went out, which was OE. Then we put another new one in and then that one went out. And then this is the second new one that we put in. And this one's completely fucked. Look at this. This piece should not be moving at all. And it should not spin that freely. It is completely loose. This one I got out of the parts car that um, I also got these wheels and coilovers out of. And this is completely solid. Not, it takes some effort to push around. Doesn't spin freely, right? It is fantastic. So, this one I know works because when we had the parts car just to get it off the trailer, um, I did turn the turn the car on and over with this um, just to get it started enough to move. So this one's good. That one's bad. This was a brand new starter, so that's kind of ridiculous. The OE ones I've heard from other Miata people are significantly better. Um, but yeah, I'm just changing the oil right now. I'm letting the oil drain at the moment. I just put the um, new filter in, just a little Wix XP, and um, I'm going 10W30 because it's the recommended for Miatas. Um, some people have said 5W30 is fine. It's really cold out right now, and if you own a Miata, you know that there's a absolutely terrible lifter tick that pretty much every NA Miata has. It just go tick, 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 right? My car doesn't do it when it's cold. It's totally fine when it's cold, but when it warms up and is idling for more than like, I don't know, a minute, it just ticks a bunch. And it's nothing that's hurting the car majorly. It's not like vital to the car, but it's annoying. And that's just cause my oil that I did have in here, I believe was, oh God, I don't even remember, but it was um, not thick enough. This, uh, this new oil, should actually do a lot better and i think i've kind of been this car is old so it burns a little bit of oil not much but um yeah i'm i'm putting this new oil in and hoping that that kind of at least reduces the lifter tick a little bit and that the car runs cleaner i'm hanging out here zion and probably isaiah are coming by a little bit later and we're gonna swap an lsd into zion's miata so i'll be following his car a lot with all of the things that he's doing um, and I'll be sure to cover that on the channel and everything because I like Miata things and I want to fo focus on all kinds of builds. So yeah, uh, be sure to subscribe to the channel and all that stuff so that you keep updated with that because that's going to be really cool. He just got a wide body kit for it as well. So he's going to be putting that on soon. He's going to get some new wheels, coilovers, things like that. Um, and his car is already kind of cool as it is. I didn't really start vlogging that early for this because it didn't seem that exciting to me. It's just the starter and stuff. Now we're gonna put this new, this OE starter in. Hopefully it lasts me a little while and actually works. Yeah, that was the other thing. When we took this starter out, there was this bolt in here, which is this boy. Um, this is to the lead to the starter. Uh, it's just this nut that goes onto the lead itself. That and one more bolt was all that was holding the entire starter in. Uh, so the starter goes in like, kind of mounted like this, if you look at it straight up from the side. And uh, so we had this bolt and we had this bolt. These bolts were completely missing. So those fell out apparently. Um, and this bolt doesn't have a thread through this hole, right? So it comes in from the back there's no thread there and there's supposed to be a nut on this end and it was just completely loose. No nut. We're getting uh, another nut and two more bolts to actually hold this starter in a lot more securely. I shouldn't be going through four starters in a year and a half of having this car. That is completely ridiculous. So I'm really, really hoping that this is the solution. I'd say that's good. All right, starter moment of truth. Let's do this. Um, everything's looking to be good to go. Uh, Zion and Isaiah are actually here, um, but they just went to get food real quick. But Zion's Miata's here. Yes. 
closed because we have the whole heat lamp situation and it's keeping it nice and warm in here which is really great i should have had that when i was wrapping this car and that's another subject that i'm going to come back to in a future miata video is um the fate of this wrap we'll say all right the boys are here it's really dark you can see some headlights that's an rx7 another thing i'll definitely try and do some videos with isaiah's rx7 i haven't done any yet and i really should right, because it's fantastic. Before you sell it and get a Miata. <laughs> but yeah, I should I should do some things because it's really entertaining. Okay, so Zion's car is officially in the garage. It's great. How's that going for you? Man can handle a hot Cheeto. Oh! Zion, would you like to uh, explain to YouTube the issue we have here? Well, on most Miatas, this bolts on. On mine. It's welded <laughs> because and, previous owners and pretty stupid. Where? Also, the furthest point up where it's bolted is like the headers. <laughs> <laughs> My cat is welded on. So we're either running open headers or a full muffler delete. Why would we run open headers over a muffler delete? Uh, these hangers, and we like move it out of the way just enough. But that's like boring. That is boring. I don't want to saw off my muffler. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, have some fun. I'm a fan of quinoa oh, when, it's the, when it's the one thing you can't taste. You know what I mean? Like when it's like a stir fry and there's quinoa in it. Yeah, I like quinoa. <laughs> you, when you it's quinoa, so, I don't like quinoa. So in other words, you don't mind quinoa. You don't like it, you don't mind it. It's, it's a nice accent to a dish. It's a nice way to make me feel like I'm being healthy. Like, <laughs> bro, like this is literally a parachute. This is where my battle arrow is gonna attach. This is where I hang the heads of babies. <laughs> no! <laughs> that I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Only baby drafts. Is this, is this we are getting nothing done. <laughs> I've accepted it at this point. Gonna be Watch us just drop the car back down and drive away. Fast forward to like, the next bit, we're like, all right, we couldn't do anything, so we're just gonna give up. Wait, 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 wait. let me see this. So my bride seats, okay? Yeah. I'll put this into perspective. Uh, the previous owner got rid of the rear mounts for these. This is one bolt for the seat, and this is the other one. <laughs> this is the bottom of my car. <laughs> <laughs> you can see up into my car here. I have no tread on the inside of the tire. That's freaking camber, bro. Yeah, that was from our day of drifting around. No, this is from uh, all the time. <laughs> <laughs> you know, if we had Thomas here, he'd probably have it out. And, like, yeah, if we had Thomas, he'd be like, guys, come on, I already swapped his engine now. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I already got the one you Z in. <laughs> Tube chassis? Done. Imagine how many pops Wait, 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 look at how it was. go, go back. Ready? <laughs> Three hours later. Okay, so. <laughs> how did that guy pull the dip out? I don't. He pulled the torsen out of his car to give it to me by himself. I don't know how. He's got to have completely ripped that car apart. I mean, yeah. Because. Well, yeah. So. I think that's probably how. Is he just ripped the whole thing apart? Anyway, what we've decided is we're not gonna do this tonight. It, it takes a lot to get uh, this diff out and the torsen in, and we really don't have the time. It's what seven something now. Seven something. We yeah. Don't know what we're doing? We have no idea what we're doing, and we don't really have a lot of time to do it or to research into doing it, and we're not that prepared. So. Um, I'm glad I got some things done on my car today, and I'm glad the guys came over and hung out. I hope I get to actually film when we actually do put this torso out in, um, but it's not happening tonight, boys. <laughs> it's not we happening tonight. Too. We so called it. Anyway, that's the end of this video. Uh, tune in next time. Hopefully, the next time you guys see this car, you will actually be getting a torso in it. Um, or something else. Or something else. Who knows? <laughs> Thanks for watching, everyone.